Hello, you are welcome to find the value of x in this nice exponential equation involving logarithm. Here, 64 can be written as 4 raised to the power 3. That is, 4 multiply itself 3 times. And here, this equation becomes x raised to the power log 4 raised to the power 3 then plus 4 raised to the power log x now equals to 10. Then from here, we apply the power law of logarithm and this 3 can come to the back here. This becomes x raised to the power 3 log 4 then plus here we have 4 raised to the power log x then equal to 10 then next from here we can separate this as x raised to the power 3 then times log 4 then plus 4 raised to the power log x equals to 10 and from the law of indices when we have a raised to the power m, then raised to the power n, this same thing as a raised to the power mn. From here, it implies that we can separate this 3 out, and this will be x raised to the power log 4, then this is raised to the power 3 here. Then plus what we have here is 4 raised to the power log x then equals to 10. Then here when we have this a raised to the power log b, this is the same thing as b raised to the power log a. Then it implies from here that x raised to the power log 4 will be the same thing as 4 raised to the power log x. So this implies that we can write this as 4 raised to the power log x. So this will become 4 raised to the power log x. Now raised to the power 3. Then plus here we have 4 raised to the power log x. Then equals to 10. Then in the next step, we can use a letter to represent that. Let u be equals to 4 raised to the power log x. Then this equation becomes u raised to the power 3 plus u equals to 10. Then let's take 10 to this side. Then we have u raised to the power 3 plus u minus 10 now equals to 0 from here. Then we can rewrite this as u raised to the power 3 plus u minus 8 minus 2 equals to 0. As minus 8 minus is the same thing as minus 10. Then here we can write this as u raised to the power 3 plus u then minus 2 raised to the power 3. That's the same thing as 8 then minus 2 equals to 0. Then here let's bring the power of 3 together. So we have u raised to the power 3 minus 2 raised to the power 3 then plus u minus 2 equals to 0. Then this u raised to power 3 minus 2 raised to power 3 follows from when we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3 which can be written as a minus b then multiply by a square plus a b plus b square now this now becomes u minus 2 then into bracket u square plus u times 2, that's 2u, 
then plus 2 square that's 4 then close bracket then we have plus u minus 2 here which is equal to 0 then let's put this in bracket now from here u minus 2 is common you factor it out we have u minus 2 into bracket u square plus 2u plus 4 less here then we have plus 4 less here will be 1 then equals to 0 from here then here we have u minus 2 then into bracket u square plus 2u plus 5 equals to 0 so from here we have two possible cases we have u minus 2 equals to 0 or we have u square plus 2u plus 5 equals to 0 then on this side we have u equals to 2 then from here let's check if there will be a real solution using the discriminant b square minus 4ac and here b is 2 so we have 2 square minus 4 a here is 1 then c here is 5 then from here this becomes 4 minus 4 times 1 times 5 here that's 20 and this is minus 16 which is less than 0 from here then that means there is no real solution on this side then it implies here we have u equal to 2 then recall that u we represented that as 4 raised to power log x so now here 4 raised to power log x which is u will now be equal to 2 then we can also express 4 as 2 square so we have 2 square then raised to power log x now equals to 2 from here then also from the power law of i mean from law of indices this power multiply then we have 2 raised to power 2 log x now equals to 2 on this side then from here this is 2 raised to power 1 so we have same base then we can equate the power and say 2 log x now equals to 1 so divide both sides by 2 then this 2 cancel out here such that we have log x here then equals to half and this same thing as half times 1 here and recall that 1 is same thing as log 10 so we can put here as log 10 so we have log x now equals to half log 10 then we can reverse this half from the power law and this here will become log x now equals to log 10 raised to power half and from here we can equate this from when we have log a equals to log b so here it implies that a is equals to b so here too it implies that x equals to 10 raised to power half and then which is same thing as x equals to root 10 so here we have the value of x for this given problem thank you for watching subscribe to my channel for more videos and uh, share this video see you next class and bye for now